Did you know that annealing amorphous materials is most effective right when the print finishes? We covered this in an earlier video, but essentially you're going to want to anneal your semi-crystalline and your amorphous materials for different reasons. We won't get into the semi-crystalline side of things in this video, but on amorphous materials, we anneal them so that the stress is slowly released. This is definitely not needed for all amorphous materials and is really only intended for materials that are very likely to crack and delaminate if cooled too rapidly. Amorphous materials include PETG, ABS, ASA, and polycarbonate. But you don't really need to anneal PETG due to stress creation from cooling too rapidly, so this is more in a line for materials that like an enclosure and high ambient heat, such as polycarbonate. If you want to anneal polycarbonate, you're gonna to wanna to do it right when the print finishes. Have your oven ready to go at 90 degrees Celsius, and the print should go right from your enclosure right into the oven. As mentioned, as an amorphous material, the goal in this is to slowly release stress by slowly cooling the part. You will very likely get a cracked or delaminated polycarbonate print if it cools too rapidly. This is particularly true if you're printing a very large and dense part. If you have an enclosure that can maintain 90 degrees Celsius, then you don't even need to worry about annealing the part. You could just keep the chamber at 90 degrees Celsius and let the part slowly cool. Timing when annealing a semi-crystalline polymer is not nearly as important, but for amorphous materials, you will want to anneal it right when the print finishes if you want to get the mechanical benefits from it. The more you know.